here's another problem with conservation of energy and potential energy and kinetic energy and all that stuff. It's a little tricky to see at first what you need to do, but it's actually a really easy problem. And according to the diagram, it says a skateboarder starts out at point A, which I forgot to label, but this is point A, and rises to a height of 2.64 meters. So right there, he, he ends up being here at 2.64 meters above the ramp. Okay, above the top of the ramp at point B. What was the skateboarder's initial speed at point A? Well, again, it's going to be 1 half mv squared equals m times g times y, which is just kinetic energy equals potential energy. And once again, I'm not given a mass, so we can just cancel out these masses. So pretty much, this is his velocity right here. This is the velocity we're starting, we're trying to find right here. This velocity right here is going to be the exact same velocity as the one right here. Because whatever speed, he, since there's no friction, whatever speed he gains here gets lost here. And so basically this speed is this speed. And the velocity at the top is going to be zero, so you can assume that he's at rest right there. That's right before he's starting to fall down again. We want to figure out what this velocity is, so we can rearrange this equation to say velocity equals, and since velocity is squared, we're going to do square root of 2 times g times y. So velocity equals square root of 2 times 9.8 times 2.64, which is the height. And that just ends up being 7. Point, I think it was 7.2 meters per okay, 7.2 meters per second. Easy.